American women have such high expectations of men for the following reasons. One feminism has said that women can have it all. No matter if you are fat, smelly, have bad character, wonky teeth you can still land yourself with Prince Charming. This is what feminism has taught women and now they have completely unrealistic expectations of what a man will provide for them. So women who really cannot get Prince Charming will just believe there is something wrong with these men and go on to feel empowered in their single life thinking that their singleness has nothing to do with them. 2. Parental Conditioning Fathers are particularly to blame for teaching their daughters that they are a princess and are entitled to the very best forever and always. So women are saturated in the mindset that they are great in every way, and if someone has a problem with them then it is fairly and squarely their problem only. I think men who fail to get into a relationship with one of these women may well have dodged a bullet. 3. Hypergamy Women are biologically wired to only ever date up. This means a woman who is, in reality, a 1 or a 2 will feel entitled to be with a man who is a 7 or an 8. It's funny, but when men act like this they are scorned and told they are not entitled to a woman, which is true, but women seem to get away with this entitlement more so. 4. Modern men have little to no self-respect. Modern men seem to throw themselves at the slightest bit of action they can find with a woman giving women the belief that they really can get any guy they want to. If men had a bit more self-respect and did not throw themselves at the first woman that comes along then other men would have more opportunities with women they may fancy. Really, some men just screw it all up for the others. 5. Online Dating 20 years ago when online dating was still in its infancy women had little choice but to find men the conventional way of sitting in bars and clubs and waiting for men to approach them. This meant there was less selection to choose from. Now, with online dating as the main form of finding someone women are overwhelmed with choices giving them the false impression that they can have a man who is way out of their league. So then what happens to the men in their league? Well, they wind up alone through no fault of their own. 6. Women still want a traditional man Despite feminism saying that the traditional carry-on should be done away with a lot of women still want a man to bring home the bacon whilst she raises the kids and does the bulk of the housework. The problem is that wages are not worth what they used to be due to so many people being in the workforce, and it is hard, if not impossible for a man to have a wage that supports his family without his wife needing to work, which means he is automatically not eligible to be with a woman who still wants a traditional carry-on. 7. Less stigma associated with being single Because there is now less stigma associated with being single women are opting for this life much more so these days. Feminism has liberated women to no longer require the use of a man, and therefore women have risen their expectations of men who may want to be with them. Less stigma around being single is a good thing btw. The attraction is multidimensional, and people choose their partners based on their own standards. So, the majority of the men aren't unattractive to women, however, the majority of the men won't be attractive to most women either. Only about 1-5% population are attractive to the majority of people, we call them celebrity, public figures. Women generally have a higher standard than men. It no way means women have too high a standard or men have too low. Women are pickier than men, as reproduction is costlier for women. Women would judge a man based on his physical health and financial prospects whereas men would more likely to be okay with physical health alone. Apart from that women are also more suspicious of men than men are of women since women are typically vulnerable to abuse in a relationship. Men don't have too low of a basic standard, some do. In fact, I see some men having an unrealistic standard, as if they are 25 years old handsome billionaires. We all know that's literally less than 1% of the population. So no, your premise is wrong.